Hey guys, um, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about our latest Velocity Project edition. And um, this board is called the Crisis Twin, and it's a take on our mid-length crisis, obviously from the name. But instead of being a 2 plus 1 setup or a quad, it's a twin fin. Um, the other changes besides the fin setup, the only other changes I made to the design overall was narrowing the nose a little bit and giving the front end a little bit more rocker just to kind of free up the nose area and keep it out of the water a bit more on a little bit later drops for shorter boards. Um, overall, everything else is identical, uh, including the bottom contours, which are a, a V, but with a double concave. So it's a, a nice little easy rolling bottom. Uh, the V lets you tip from rail to rail really easily, which is really nice, which you already kind of have that feeling with a twin fin, but this accentuates that. And then I think you can kind of see it here a little bit. I'm not sure how obvious that is, but there's V through the whole bottom. But then also here, there's also double concave. So it's like a little, it's like a little mini ramp Boop. right there, a spine, a spine ramp. And that breaks the bottom up kind of into two halves and lets it roll really easily rail to rail, which is super fun. It makes it feel real smooth and very easy through turns. Um, the other things that I really like about this board are the extra flotation that we have up here and even through the whole board, but then the really nice refined rail and really clean little smaller rail, which lets you feel, the board feels really sensitive for its thickness and you can ride a little bit of extra volume more than you would in a lot of other boards without it feeling really bulky and boaty. Um, the stock dims on this board, the Crisis Twin, versus our mid-lengths, this is going to be a lot shorter board in general. Our stock sizes are going to be between 5'4 and 6'10. And then the biggest difference in those, even at same size to the mid-length, is that these boards are stock a bit narrower too. So you have a narrower nose, but the overall stock widths are a bit narrow, which I like for the twin fin for just more of a kind of performance -y feel which is really nice. Um, like I said, the bottom's very simple, double concave with a little bit of V through the whole bottom of the board, running off the tail, flattening out here. The fins that I've been using in this board, and I recommend these, are the Pizel fins, the Bobcat twin. And this is a fin that I worked with Bob Hurley to develop, which has, as you can see, it's got a quite a bit of base, a longer base, but yet it's still a kind of refined performance kind of tip. And this fin will give you, in a board like this, I feel like it works so good to give you, the base gives you a lot more drive. So you get a lot of push. You can push off it a bit on your bottom turn. And it gives you that forward momentum drive. But then still having the, the rakier and then the springy kind of refined tip gives it a nice like real release through turns. And it actually feels like it loads up and like springs you out through turns, which is really nice. So you have the drive, which is, I think super important in twin fin. Sometimes a twin fin feels like it's kind of like you can't get it to go anywhere. And that has a lot to do with your fin setup. And these fins I think can give you the maximum drive you can get out of a board while still giving it quite a bit of performance and like easy, tighter radius turns, which is super cool. That's our nice little fin setup. You can use anything in these boards, but that's what I would recommend. Um, the mid length had a 10 inch box and side fins up here. But what we've done with this is those, those fin boxes were quite a bit further forward. So if you just put a twin fin in there, the board's going to feel really loose um, and lose a lot of drive because the fins were so far forward. So what we did here is we moved the fins back. These are at about nine inches on a five, eight. And um, that just adds a lot of control and drive to the board overall. And it makes it just feel it's, it's still really loose. It's super fast. The twin fin just like accelerates like crazy, but it still just feels like really free and flowing. Um, this board for me personally has got me stoked on really small surf and then also into decent size waves. It's still really fun, but I see a little waist high running mushy wave and uh, this twin fin makes me excited to go surf it, which is a good feeling. All of us kind of need that kind of board in our lives sometimes. Um, it's got a real basic, real clean, nice tail, nice round, no wing, no nothing, just super clean outline. And um, I think you can ride these anywhere you want from size wise. If you want to ride it below your height, if you want to ride at your height, you want to ride a long one that's 
and, and we'll do customs even bigger than 610, whatever you want. But um, I think it suits just a really wide variety of surfers from someone who absolutely rips to someone that's just kind of looking for something to help them maybe elevate their surfing beyond like what they're riding right now. If they're kind of in the beginner inter intermediate level and you want to kind of step up, but you really still want to go fast. It's super cool. So that in a nutshell is the crisis twin. And um, for right now, we're going to be making some basic stock dims and you can do any kind of custom order you want. Crisis twin. She's a beauty. Makes every day a little bit more fun.